I don't know how this camera is still operating. I've dropped it so many times. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan and today is another day of bookmas. Happy bookmas everyone. Today is day 16 and today I'm going to be sharing some childhood books with you all. So my dad was going through our basement and came across a tub full of books from my childhood and I don't think these are all of them they're just some so I think it's fun but I wanted to share them with you all as I go through them so without further ado let's just jump into it I've got a tub here I'm just gonna pull them out randomly no rhyme or reason really to it all <laughs> so this one makes sense it is the sequel to Little Women and it's Little Men and as you all know I collect editions of Little Women so this will be going on my Little Women shelf along with all the other Little Women books and sequels. Oh, and I just happened to pull out Little Women as well. So I add this one to the collection of all my Little Women books. Super exciting. I am looking at my shelf here and I don't have this one on my shelf so it's good I don't have a duplicate of this one. Next is The Meanest Doll in the World by Anna Martin and Laura Godwin. So this is just a picture book about a little doll who has like a bully doll I guess and the bully doll is this princess doll and this one kind of reminds me of that villain rich girl from Powerpuff Girls. But yeah, this is like bringing me back some serious nostalgia looking at like the illustrations on this cover. Next, I have my little house on the prairie set here. So we have Little House on the Prairie, By the Shores of Silver Lake, The Long Winter, Little House in the Big Woods, On the Banks of Plum Creek, and On the Way Home. I don't know if these are actually in order or if I have them all, but I used to be obsessed with this like book and series, um, like TV series. My mom and I used to watch that all the time. So it makes me feel really nostalgic and I just want to reread it all. Next is another copy of a sequel from Louisa May Alcott or the Little Women series. This is Rose in Bloom and I believe it's a cousin or from eight cousins from like that companion series. It's by the same author but I think it's a different family. So this one is Rose in Bloom. Next are actually some of my mom's books that I inherited. We have the Sweet Dreams series here. So we have Never Love a Cowboy, we have Love Long Distance, or Long Distance Love, my bad, Dream Prom, we have Listen to Your Heart, The Popularity Plan, and P.S. I Love You. I still remember reading this one. This one was my favorite, and it's just cool that the story has been passed down through generations like it was my mom's and now it's mine maybe I can pass it on to one of my kids someday I just think that's really fun how stories can pass on through generations uh, that's one of the biggest things I love about stories is they're truly timeless um, so that is that set I think I see a couple more down in here one second yeah there was a few more down in here so we also have her secret self we have the Other Me, Cross My Heart, and I don't think this is from the Sweet Dream series, but I do think it was one of my parents. It's We Interrupt This Semester for an Important Bulletin. So I haven't read all of these, but they were passed down to me. They were my parents' favorites, so I'm keeping on the tradition and hope to read them someday. Next I have Good Wives, another sequel to Little Women. I feel like there's a trend here. I should just peek through here and just make sure there's no other sequels. Because I've pulled out quite a few now. What is this? There's a newspaper clipping in here. Oh, it's of Louisa May Alcott. That's kind of cool. Huh. My grandma must have done something like that. Because she's known for like avidly watching the newspaper. And she must have clipped that out or something. That's cool. Okay, I think this is the only other Little Women themed book. Um, it's Portraits of Little Women. Beth Makes a Friend. I have not, like, I own this, obviously. It's in my 
box here but I don't remember these portraits of a little woman and now I want more because it's stories from the little like when they were kids and their perspective and Beth makes a friend that's so cute it's not by Louisa May Alcott but it's inspired by little women so I'm definitely intrigued to find more of these and from the other uh, sisters as well because I love all of them next there are a ton of like search and find books I don't know what uh, the best way to describe them is but we have where are they more than 1,000 fun things to search and find and then we have Sammy's big book of awesome adventures a seeking Sammy book this one was the one that I definitely <laughs> did most you can see the pages are falling out so this one's most nostalgic for me look at that binding oh my gosh this thing is falling apart then we have the Tasmanian De devil from Looney Tunes um, that's my mom's favorite Looney Tunes character so we have this one a look and find and then we have a good old classic the great Waldo search uh, where's Waldo look and find book there let's see someone time me let's see how long it takes me to find a Waldo so here's what that looks like starting now wow I found him right off the bat I'm not even kidding he's right there I don't know if you can see him <laughs> I literally just looked down and saw him that was great maybe it's like the muscle memory kicking in next I have some of the like heartbreaking childhood favorites because of Winn-Dixie and Bridge to Terabithia two of which destroyed me in my childhood so I had to hang on to those of course and revisit that childhood trauma okay these next two are kind of funny um, I have these president books I have Andrew Jackson paper dolls and the president stuck on the president's is a sticker book and the thing I would do obviously not all of them are filled in here but anytime we would visit one of the president's houses I would like read their page and stick in their stickers and everything so it looks like I've got a ways to go here um, I need to visit some president's houses like JFK for example then we have a what's it called giant like a paint I think it's a um yeah you get your paintbrush wet and then you like paint in the lines and it creates color so you don't have like an actual paint paint but it's like a watercolor book and it's beauty and the beast I don't know if I did any of the pages oh I started through there it looks like <laughs> And then I, of course I have the official Hunger Games Illustrated Movie Companion because why not? I was obsessed with the Hunger Games. It was definitely the series that got me into reading like for real for real. Well I shouldn't say that but like it's like one of the first series I remember being really gripped by other than like my childhood books. I don't know. Um, this was like my first dystopian fantasy read I think I was more into the like contemporaries I always read the boxcar children or the babysitters club or those kind of ones um, I guess magic tree house was fantasy but this was the real I'm a done for I'm a dunner dunner I'm gone for I don't know what I'm trying to say uh, ignore me it's been a long day been a long day but that's really cool uh, sticking with that history and collection theme, I also have my 50 states of quarters that I collected. I think I'm still missing a few. I need... Oh yeah, so it's like quarters by state and year. So I need 2003 Missouri, 2003 Maine, 2003 Alabama, and then also 1999 Pennsylvania, 2000 South Carolina, so on and so forth. I do have all this side full, so I just need to fill in the rest of this side. Then I have a book of jokes from my grandparents. I used to read these all the time with my grandparents. It's like jokes and riddles. Let me pull one out here. What invention lets you look right through a wall? A window ha 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 oh my kind of horrible joke taste oh wait there's a quarter down in here it must have fallen out 
which one is this this is 2000 south carolina all right let's stick her in there now stay then we have the book of story beginnings i feel like this one gave me like a series of unfortunate events vibes when i look at it but i remember really enjoying it so i'll have to check this one out again someday Ooh, and then I have this really beautiful velvet covered secret garden book. So this will definitely go on my secret garden shelf here. I have a little bit of a collection of Anne of Green Gables, Secret Garden, and Little Women going on. So I have a couple duplicates. Then I have Jane Eyre and a little princess. Oh, I think... Oh my gosh. I don't know how this camera... Is still operating I've dropped it so many times I'm so sorry let's get you resituated here Jane Eyre as I was saying a little princess so I do collect a little princess as well it's just one of those children's classics but yeah this one is Jane Eyre I own this but I don't know if I've ever actually read it it sounds familiar or looks familiar but I don't know if I've actually ever read this so now I want to. And this is a very digestible format because it's a children's illustrated classic edition. Then I have two um, little girls Bibles. I have the fathers and daughters edition as well as the mothers and daughters edition. And this is just the Bible broken down into like short stories. Oh my gosh, looking at this is just so, so, so nostalgic. Oh my gosh. And then at the end, in between each story, there's like a little devotional. It goes through like questions, gives advice to the parent, and gives a verse to remember. All right, we have just a few more here. So next up we have The Uglies. I don't think I actually ever read this. I think I always wanted to, but never actually got around to it. So adding this one to the TBR, I guess. My never-ending over 600 books tbr which is just insulting to myself at this point then i have keys with me the i heart bikinis series <laughs> i can't believe this is a uh, young adult book but it's from scholastic 4.99 can we go back to books being 4.99 that sounds incredible but yeah this is uh he's with me young adult contemporary romance i remember loving this one too why so I still have it. Then we have my little Meg Kabat collection, Party Princess, Princess Diaries, Sensa Sensational, and Victoria and the Rogue. Love these. Love Meg Kabat. Definitely a great YA author there. Then we have good old Froggy's First Kiss. Oh my gosh, I remember these so much. These are so fun to go back and look at. But yeah, this is probably the youngest of all the books in here. And my last section of books is hilarious. And if you were a teen girl around the 2000s, you totally remember these. But they are the American Girl like Guides to Life. So we have a Smart Girl's Guide to Manners. A Smart Girl's Guide to Sticky Situations, A Smart Girl's Guide to Money, and the ever infamous A Smart Girl's Guide to Starting Middle School. Oh my gosh, these were so vital to me when I was in like that age, so these are hilarious to look back at. But that's all my childhood books. I do have another tub of Sweet Valley books but I didn't think it would be as interesting to just be like here's a Sweet Valley book here's another Sweet Valley book here's another Sweet Valley book so alas just know that there's a tub of Sweet Valley High Sweet Valley Twins all the Sweet Valley books in a tub over there so those are the childhood books let me know what some of your childhood books were or if you recognize any of mine and I'll check in with you tomorrow for another book tag bye friends mm -hmm.